bag on your head, bag on your head. You're looking like a fool with a bag on your head with water dripping out. Your cap turned sideways, looking like a fool. Call yourself a cool cat. Y'all remember that American Idol audition? <laughs> Hilarious. It just popped in my head with the bag on my head. <laughs> Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, aka Scenario. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today too. Y'all, y'all, we, we are about to get into a tried and true. We are going to get into some tried and true. Um, Before we even start, comment down below, what are some tried and true? T and T. T and T. Yep. Yeah tried and true okay t and t products for you put a t okay put a t let me know let, let me know let me know let me know for me y'all one of the tried and true products is is this here so so tentacles now listen let's let's just get the elephant let's get the let's get the the comment out of the way it looks a mess it looks a mess i don't know why that's yellow i <laughs> I can't even tell you why that's yellow. I can't. I hope it's turmeric or something on the outside. I have no idea why that's yellow. Look, I mean, the she's been used. So is this a tried and true? Holla at your girl. It's a tried and true. So, <clears throat> so, so to not do it any, to not do any um, misjustice. That's probably the wrong word. The not. I, I, Long story short, I had to I had to get one of my new ones because I can't do sultanicals like that. I can't do sultanicals like that. I cannot do sultanicals like that and show that leader looking that way from user error, from from from, from me squeezing and scushing and using and lushing on my hair. So here's a brand new one, y'all. But before we get into all that, before we get into all that, if you are new here, y'all, thank you so much for joining us. Y'all, hold on real quick. Y'all, we hit 300. We hit 300 and I'm just so happy about it. Thank y'all. Ugly cry, ugly cry. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, y'all. Y'all, I kept refreshing when it was like 297. My husband was like, you gonna, you gonna hit 300? I was like, hold on. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Don't say it if you don't mean it. I'm looking up. I kept refreshing. And I was trying to screen record it. And every time I tried to screen record it, it wouldn't, it wasn't at 300 yet. Then the time that, uh, of course, the time that I go, um, this is me refreshing my phone. The time I push down, y'all hear the ash? If your hands make sounds, that means you need some lotion. That means you need some moisture. Go put some body butter on. Go put some butter baby on. Go put on something, okay? Go put on some, go put on some lotion. The ash. Anyways. Why do I, I always got something on my lips, my hands, y'all, my hands. Anyways, I kept refreshing. And then the time I was not screen recording, of course, that's when, that's when it hit 300. But I was still like, oh God, do it. I see you, Lord. I see you. I see what you did there. So y'all, we hit 300. Y'all, thank you guys so much for liking this. So we can continue this. So we can continue this. Please like this video. Please share this video with somebody that you know, a family member, a friend, a boo, a you. I mean, please, please like this video. Please share it. Please comment down below. All that stuff, y'all. You guys' comments have helped so much. Help boost my, my video up so other people can see it. And um, just us talking. So y'all, thank you so much. And y'all, if I seem a little rusty, it's because your girl hasn't, your girl hasn't filmed in a few days because hashtag bulk filming hashtag bulk filming bulk filming is life bulk filming i feel like is the only way you can truly survive as a youtuber because to be getting three videos out a week and you ain't bulk filming first off kudos to you if you if you can do that if you don't have to bulk film and you can still get out three videos a week but better me for me yeah i have to so it's been a few days so if i'm a little rusty just you know it's okay okay so anyways y'all don't forget, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Please do so. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. So guys, we are going to get into what you've already seen. What you've already seen is this Sultanicals, okay? And before we do, before we do, I have a few things I want to say. 
this is a new series that I want to start. So as you guys can see, I clearly have you. I've used this um, Sultanical Shea Yurvedic Butter Shampoo. But I thought of something where I said, okay, especially if it's a product that maybe a lot of people have seen already. Like at first I was like, you know, when you start a new channel, sometimes it can be kind of like, okay, you know, oh man, it's the, the you know, there's, there's so many channels out there. There's, you know, everybody's already seen that product. They don't want to see it for the hundredth time. You know, that kind of pressure and that negativity that you can, that you're kind of springing up in your own mind. And nobody told you that, but you springing that up in your own mind. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, well, I have all these things where, you know, I have all these open products where I'm like, oh no, that one's already been, oh no, that one's been reviewed too many times to count. Oh no, ain't nobody want to see that again. Oh gosh, please. Not, I don't even want to see that one again. Oh gosh. Okay. And that one. So I ended up thinking, but then I'm looking at my session. I'm like, I don't want to keep opening like so many new products to where, you know, I'm end up starting my shelf life fast. So especially when you're a product hoarder, you can't be opening a bunch of products and, and not using them. And I want to do reviews for you guys, but you know, you always, it all has to make sense. So what I thought about this was, I thought about this idea. I know it was God given. We have to give credit where it's due. I know God gave me the idea. This series is going to be called Open with Opens. My name is Ariel and this is Open with Opens. So first it started off with Open using Opens and I was like, low wordy, low wordy. So then I was like, ooh, how about Open using Opens? Three words, we can do that. We can do, eh, hey, Macarena, hey. So I was like, we can do that. So in this series, y'all, we are going to literally, and this is probably gonna be a forever series, where we're just going to be, it's going to be like a curl chat. It's going to be where we're going to be reviewing a product. So if you've never seen this product in action, not only are you going to get a review, but you're also going to, and it's like a three win. Okay. You're going to get a review of a product that maybe you've already seen it a million times, or maybe it's your first time, but either way, you're going to get a full thorough review. Like I like to do, and like I try to do for y'all. And two, I'm going to be using up my stash. I'm going to be using an open that I need to use. Amen. Amen. And three, we're going to have a curl chat. Now, with that being said, now with that being said, the curl chat are going to be different topics. So like today's topic, um, I'm going to get into that after I get into what the deets are of this baby. But every video is going to have a different topic, a different curl chat, and we're going to kiki, we're going to talk, we're going to one, two step into the comments. And I want us to have a dialogue of whatever topic that I'm talking about in the video. Okay. So let me know. How do you guys like that idea? I thought it was fun. I love to talk to you guys. Like when I say I love to talk to you guys, I love talking to you guys. You guys are such a positive, motivating, oh my gosh, positive. I don't know why a song came to, to my, uh, to my memory. Uh, positive, motivating, something. It's, it's not coming to my mind, but Anyways, y'all, I just want to say you guys are so positive. You're motivating. You guys are just, I feel the strength in this, in this um, chat and this, like this community that we've built in this 300 strong and hopefully by God willing, by the time this goes up, there'll be even more. But I just want to say, I appreciate you guys so much. I love talking to you guys. So please do, please get into the comments so we can talk about it. And remember, this is a loving place. Ain't no negativity in these parts. Ain't no negativity in these parts. So let's keep it. Let's keep it positive, but let's have a good talk in the comments and like hopefully we can help somebody else um, and we can just have a good chat in the comments about whatever topic it might be. So let's just have fun like as if we just sitting down at dinner and I'm like, girl, girl, let me ask you about this. What's your opinion on this girl? And I'm and you tell me, girl, sis, you, girl, this is what I think, Ariel. That's what I'm that's what I'm hoping out of these chats. OK, so this is our first open using opens so my open today is this sultanicals oh it looks so bad y'all it looks so bad it's been through some oh girl oh girl but you so good we gonna use you this is the sultanicals shea yurvedic butter shampoo heavy shampoo butter cream buttercream with brahmi amla shikakai and bring raj so because i didn't want to show sultanicals like that we couldn't do her like that First, I got to show you guys how, look how little bit I have left. Look how little, and this is a liter size. Look how little bit of this I have left. So we're going to use it up. We're going to use it up. So I'm going to show you guys the real, the actual cute untouched version. So this is just some tape. But here is the Sultanical Shea Yobetic Butter Shampoo. Now I've talked all about my butter shampoo. Love 
my loves my loves in favorite week favorites week i don't know if i did put if i didn't put this but this is a favorite but this is a bbb if you guys don't know what bbb it's my phrase i came up with it's boo ba baby mama it means it's it's fire it means it's everything it means it's amazing and and i love it okay so this is definitely bbb if i did not put this in my favorites week um i don't know why i was tripping i'm gonna tell you that i was tripping so um let's talk about the that what's in this and then we're gonna go ahead and use this because my hair my hair is like five days old which is a long time for me typically i wash my hair every three to four days um but my hair is like five days old so we're gonna really see we're gonna really see if this can lift if this can lift some of the dirt okay off of my hair so um oh and i just pre-pooed using main crushes cleansing mask and then y'all I, I end up getting up and doing something and I couldn't find it. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to use something else to pre-poo because I need to finish pre-pooing this side of my head. So then the other side was the Ayurvedic pre-poo. I mean, Ayurvedic pre-poo. Let me know, do y'all wanna see the cleansing mask? Do y'all wanna see the Ayurvedic pre-poo? You probably gonna see it either way, but let me know if you wanna see that. Um, but anyways, I rinse that out. My hair is wet. I have some water and we're gonna use this, okay? And we're gonna have this curl chat, this open using opens. So in this, um, in this butter, whew, in this shampoo, this heavy shampoo buttercream, um, this has, okay, now first of all, let me show you guys the ingredients here, okay, and everything is going to be linked down below. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and link up here um, in the cards about the, oh, not um favorites week that's what i was gonna say favorites week favorites week favorites week okay so i'm gonna link that and i'm also gonna link this product okay so always check the description box for my discount codes for the product that i'm doing in the video because I'm, I'm trying to be a better youtuber y'all i'm trying to be a better youtuber i'm trying to link stuff okay what am, um my good sis what was her name inspirations with nicole she was like she she kindly requested like can you just start you know putting it putting it down in the description box thank you nicole i appreciate you i appreciate you thank you for bringing that to my attention that i was not doing that thank you so much so i have tried to start doing that and remembering to do that so thank you again for that nicole i appreciate you um so yeah you guys can check out this product on sultanicals.com but anyways let's get into it let's get into the deans let's get into the tea let's get into the 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 deets okay i was trying to think of something else nothing came to me all right so this has the ooh. now i can't say if i can't say it just remember y'all check the description box and then you can look at all the ingredients on sultanicals.com okay desiglucoside uh, sodium lauryl lactate um sh no those two i know for sure are clean cleansers okay by the way sultanicals is a hundred percent it's a vegan clean brand black woman owned <sighs> io is the um the head mixtress the um she's so good she's so good and she's so nice too but she created uh sultanicals 10 years ago black owned brand black woman owned br uh, brand i think she just brought on her 19 year old daughter that i think i saw on her on her um on her page as well like just amazing she actually like gave her a real interview too like i was like yes yes miss io yes it was just ugh. and she's like she's just a power woman like she's just she's just doing big things and we're proud we're happy i'm i know i'm celebrating with her so yes that's um just so you guys know about sultanicals and it's all about hair mind body and soul so that's where she got the word soul tan cults and um i believe because i think um i just watched her do an interview with fourth avenue market which i believe is a black owned beauty supply um like warehouse online i do this because you know even though it's not on the floor i think it's not on uh, you know on the ground it's still you know it's online basically so that's why i was like warehouse you know what i'm saying but anyways they carry sultanicals and i just watched the interview and she was kind of talking about what that means um what the, the soul part of sultanicals so anyways just wanted to tell you some deets if you've never heard of sultanicals sultanicals is one of those brands if it's in stock snatch it by the roots okay snatch it by the roots and get it add to cart add to cart add to cart she just added a vip program too y'all sign up for it she's doing like perks and she's just she's all about giving back so definitely look at sultanicals and when i say all her wash day stuff is fire to fire 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 just get it all her wash day add to cart her shampoos her deep conditioners add to cart her stylers i love fridge whiz but anyways this is not i'm doing a brand review what am i 
let's focus on the product okay so anyways yeah everything that i'm reading guys is gonna be clean because um sultanicals is a clean vegan amazing brand okay um shea butter aloe juice so aloe juice is the fourth ingredient potassium uh cocaine uh bring raj amla neem uh retha shikakai ashwagandha brahmi avocado oil pentramonial metro sulfate soterio alcohol vegetable glycerin panthenol uh, which is vitamin b5 i believe uh olive oil garlic gum phthalate free fragrance oil and eco uh eco certified um let's see glucan uh, i don't know what that what that says y'all and sodium benzate but anyways I'm, I'm sure i said stuff wrong so just make sure you look at that link okay okay and this says self-loving wash day is hair to stay if you love it if you love that soft luxurious product massaging conditioning cleansing slippery having detangling with ease wash day experience then this it's got a lot of s's on here is for you and a lot of explanation parts so for you this creamy rich ayurvedic shampoo softens stimulates cleanses without stripping strengthens and nourishes in one can be used as a moisturizing shampoo co-wash and deep conditioner hmm Okay. okay when people used to say that on their channels um i was like oh i never saw that label and look it's right here girl if i had read if i had read um i had never known that you could use it as a deep conditioner but i don't think i would want to use something with cleansing ingredients in the first two ingredients as a deep conditioner personally but moisturizing shampoo and co-wash 100 percent, yes 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 Okay, so it says slather a generous amount of butter shampoo onto strands, work with both hands into a mild lather, and massage onto hair and scalp underneath. Rinse with cool water and proceed with hair care routine. Note, a conditioner may not be necessary after usage. Your hair will feel amazingly soft, conditioned, and rejuvenated. Okay, we got some big claims. So it's supposed to give us the moisture. It's supposed to give us the detangling. And it's supposed to make us question, do we need a DC? Do I need to proceed? Mm, mm, mm. So we're about to find out, y'all. You, I guess you're about to find out because I've already used it, but y'all about to find out. Um, and it's been a while since I used it, so it's kind of like a refresher, okay? Doing the impressions again. These are my refreshers. Just when I thought I was done. Uh, na, 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 na. I'm trying it again and seeing if it's here to stay. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna go get some clips and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I took off my plastic cap. Um, I got my little clippies and I am just taking down my twist because y'all, I keep my hair stretched when I and I twist them up after I pre-poo and then I just rinse it out in the twist. And then now I'm opening them up and I'm gonna try to keep this hair stretched still because your girl can't handle the tangles. Who else hair's tangles at the root? Who else's hair does Swan Lake does aerobics, does exercising and Tai Bo on their scalp with the tangles. Who else? Let me know. Was it Tai Bo? I probably said that so. I remember the black guy, he was like, yeah, let's do it. <gasps> Who's that? In the 90s? Y'all remember what I'm talking about? He was like somebody's uncle. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Okay. But y'all, my hair feels, my hair feels like butter. It feels like butter. Okay. Ah, butter shampoo. I didn't even mean to do that. Let's see what I did. The word play wordplay okay so while i'm taking these down and preparing for this shampoo here is the topic that we're going to talk about today y'all so i was talking with a family member and i was talking to them about um basically you know i was like hey i'm, I'm thinking about you know we were just talking about hair and you know i was talking to them i found an old picture of them with their hair curly and their hair was just like cute it was just in this natural state and it's cute little bob and it's curls and um so i sent her the picture i was like oh look how cute you are here look how adorable and um she was like wow low-key i like my hair there and i was like yes it looks it looks amazing the curls were popping the curls look amazing and she ended up telling me um you know yeah i mean like if only i could have you know kept them kept them moisturized then maybe i would have kept you know staying in, in its curly state maybe i would have kept my hair in its curly state and I was like, well, you know, like, what, like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, what was, 
kind of like trying to ask her like a little bit more about you know what was she struggling with because right now just to kind of tell you a little bit of a backstory right now she is a straight hair natural so her hair is totally natural but she um she only heat styles so she only she straightens it and does like um you know yeah just straightens it so no curls um and she feels now that her hair is basically heat trained um to where you know she said that her hair just you know yeah it'll curl at the roots but then like as soon as she like puts the heat on it like you know over time her, her curls have kind of gone away she said so basically um as I was talking to her um she's like oh you know maybe if I was living in a different climate because she said where she lives is too too dry she said such a dry climate she said she tried every single product in the world and I'm like okay girl you didn't try every product in the world she's like Ariel I literally tried like everything and I'm like debatable but okay go ahead and she's like okay I tried like every product in the world and nothing worked nothing worked hair was always dry she said um I would have you know I would have kept it curly if it wasn't always snapping off was if it wasn't always breaking off she said um I said okay so you had an issue with uh moisture retention and length retention she was like yes that those were the issues so she was like now I mm -mm, I'm not I'm not ever probably going to go back because unless I move to a climate where it's actually like humid and like I'm getting more moisture in the air and my hair is getting more moisture in the air and I told her I said well you know I totally hear you um and I want to let me just say this first whether you are a straight hair natural where you wear your hair completely straight and you're natural or if your hair is curly and you are natural i think people should do with their hair what they want to do so i'm just going to say that first off before we get into our chat um because you you should do i mean <laughs> at the end of the day the good thing is you can cut it all off and you can start again if you want to your have your hair straight and you want to play with it straight play with it straight play with the straight and don't let nobody tell you otherwise play with the straight have fun okay if you want to color it have fun color it okay live your life living your best life living my best life okay living your best life okay if you want to wear it curly and you don't want no heat touching it you don't want no heat you don't want none of it okay nothing no heat touching your hair which is where i am right now live your best life okay so i just want to say that first i want to say that first so um but i thought this was an interesting discussion so when i talked to her when i talked to her y'all okay hang on let me show you guys first here is and sorry this is this is probably so ghetto but we gotta do what we gotta do because it doesn't reach it doesn't reach anymore i'm all the way at the bottom y'all it don't come out the pop it don't come out the little little spouty spout anymore so i want to show you guys the texture of this so we're gonna get some off of here minus the hair minus the hair please so let me take down this section here and i'm gonna just spray down my hair real quick with this warm water thank you so much assistant thank you <laughs> that's todd that's todd he's new we're seeing how he's gonna do and then we'll uh we'll find out if we'll hire him on okay so i'm just gonna spray this is so awkward because it's like is this my right hand oh i was gonna say it's my left hand and it was hard to spray but it was actually the right hand whoops so anyways here is the texture of this butter shampoo y'all it's creamy it's creamy look how creamy that is it's literally like it's just it's just noise it's just noise okay so this is the texture of the butter shampoo so you have like a little bit of tack but it's just very creamy this okay now i gotta say the smell is hard to describe it doesn't smell herbally. You know how sometimes you're like, someone smells like something that has a lot of Ayurvedic stuff in it. And you're like, it smells like Mother Earth. Yeah, it smells really grassy. <laughs> no. So this one, this, it just smells good. Like, I love the smell of this. I don't know how to describe it though. I would say fresh. The best way to describe it, I would say like fresh. Maybe like fresh cut grass, but there's no grassy smell. It just smells good. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Probably not really, huh? So here is what it looks like. And I'm just going to start off with this little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on my hair. So, okay. So as you guys can see, it just kind of slicks right on. Now, as I put it on, it feels like 
almost like a deep you know those deep conditioners where they literally sink into your strands and you're like houdini <laughs> who did it where'd it go that's like what it feels like right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get some more here let me let me get an adequate amount okay we go we go because we are using up this liter oops okay so i'm gonna go in with about that much now and my hair is nice it's not of course you know you can only get as soaking wet as you can get outside of the shower um or the sink but we're gonna get some we're gonna be able to test some of it because my hair is definitely wet so as you guys can hear you can definitely hear that this has some slip to it and do you guys see that it's like very very little very very little on the button i mean on the on the um on the suds so kind of like see how it's like creating like a foam almost like a foam um feel and like very 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 little bubbles so this is a non-lather shampoo so if you don't like a non-lather shampoo same for you boo because i mean yeah because it because this one has you know like no lather no lather but does it feel amazing yes um and you can hear the slip in it and i love with this that it actually has two cleansing ingredients in the very first um two uh, two ingredients so you know it's actually going to clean your hair so i just like to hold my hair like this and i'm going to get to my scalp okay but yeah this just feels very smooth going on my hair i feel like i could definitely detangle with it because you can even hear the slip y'all hear that and i gotta close my eyes y'all because i don't want nothing in my eye i want nothing in my eye but I probably use too much, but that's okay. But just want to show you guys how easily. See, I'm just rubbing my my thumb down. My hair is fully detangled, but I just wanted to kind of show you. And I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not the type that can just put my hair and run my fingers through. I'm not gonna I'm not going to do that to my hair. I'm not gonna rip out my roots. Okay, we work too hard for them. We work too hard for that. So I'm not gonna do that. But um, cause I can't. That's not how I detangle my hair. It's very coily. Okay, kinky coily. But what I can show you with the slip is just how I'm rubbing my thumb down it. Okay, so there's definitely slip there. So I'm just going to keep rubbing. I'm going to put a little bit more water. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So when I was talking to her, she said she would she would definitely do it. Um, she said maybe one day if she was in a different climate and it wasn't so dry she might try going back curly again she said but honestly she doesn't think her hair could handle it she doesn't think that her hair is basically made to stay curly and be curly um in in a way she was just saying because it just she said she just did not retain any length and she literally tried every product and i was like i started to name products well did you try this one and i said well i don't think you tried everything like i was like and i wasn't natural yeah i couldn't help you i couldn't i couldn't help you i was like at this point now i could i could totally like give you recommendations um and like we could you know try to work i could try to help you with your your um moisture retention because i was like honestly since it was snapping so much it just sounds like it was just moisture retention like you just needed your hair was just dry i was like and our hair is is textured like it's naturally going to be dry so you have to i said um you have to constantly, you know, moisture is everything, basically, for our kinky, coily hair. And her hair is not even kinky, coily, but it is um, it's definitely, it is type 4. But I told her, I was like, you know, moisture is everything. It's so important for our hair, otherwise it will snap, it will break. And she's like, yeah, um, honestly, like, I already tried everything. I already tried everything, so straight is just better for me. Straight is just better for me. And, um, and I can tell, by the way, she... Like, cause there was more, there was more conversation in there. And I, and I told her, I said, well, I, honestly, from the way that you're talking though, too. Oh, and she was talking about how long she said wash day would take her all day because, she, you know, detangling and, you know, she was talking about everything. And I said, well, honestly, I said, well, I'm not sure. Like, do, do you think you would ever even want to? I said, cause right now I said, you know, with, with natural hair, you have to have patience too. And she said, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to do all that. So that was a whole nother topic though. That's a whole nother topic. But the topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about was 
do you feel because i because my the way we ended the conversation was honestly i feel that everybody i do feel like you could be successful if you wanted to one day go back being curly if you you know no problem that you want to have your hair straight i mean yeah do what's best for you girl if that makes you happy absolutely but what i was just trying to tell her was there is a way for you to remain uh with your hair to be moisturized even with you living in a dry climate because i've experienced a dry climate for years and years and years and years and years and years so i told her i was like listen you know you know i've already experienced a dry climate she's like yeah yeah i do and i said i was natural so i said at that point it meant you know for me and my hair i washed my hair more often i wash my hair every three to four days because that's about how long um you know because of my climate my the, the moisture would get sucked out so quickly um, and I said, or I would refresh. I said, I said, if you had started refreshing, I think that that would have helped you a lot. I said, because what did you do? So then we kind of started talking. And she just said she would kind of like style it once and then just kind of leave it alone for like, um, you know, just kind of leave it alone at that point. But I was like, I said, I bet if you started to refresh, I, you know, because sometimes you have to refresh. Sometimes you have to add more products on. Sometimes you have to have a refresher spray, add more moisture, you know, spray your hair down. Because I said, first off, it's water. Are you, are you, did you ever re-moisturize your hair and then add some more product or reactivate the products that are already on your hair by adding water, maybe twisting your hair back up? Did you ever use, um, did you ever do any of that? And then she's like, no, not really. But, but, um, she's like, but honestly, you know, and she was like, honestly, just straight is the way. And I'm like, okay, yeah. You know, if that works for you, but here's the question that I want to ask you guys. One, how much do you guys, do you guys feel that not everybody hair is made to be at i guess you could say at its curly state do you feel that do you feel that sometimes um because of atmosphere or location like if, if you're in a really humid place or if you're in a really dry place do you feel that it's best for someone to to be have their hair you know be straight if you live in a, in a dry climate um whereas people that live in a humid climate should you know that's best for them to be curly what do you guys think and and of course again you have to do what's best for you i'm not saying that i'm just saying i just wanted to kind of have a fun talk with you guys and, and what are you guys' thoughts on on that topic um, i just feel i personally feel that everybody you know if you do go natural i i personally feel that you there are products for everybody i really do and i feel like it's just about learning our hair like it takes time and i told her i said if you don't have the time if you don't have the patience, if you don't have the energy to really invest in your hair as far as like the education behind it and learn about porosities and learn about different products, then, you know, you do have to ask yourself that question like, how can you make things work? I don't think that you necessarily have to run one way or the other. I'm just saying, I do feel like there are products for everybody. So do you guys feel the same? That Do you feel like everybody, there is something out there for everybody? Or do you feel like listen nah you know what i'm with her if if it's a dry climate then mm -mm, you know just you know it's better to just kind of go straight and call it a day um and that that's what you know yeah so i think I've, i think i've asked the question if i had stuck with the products that <laughs> if i had stuck with the products that i first used when i first went natural oh my gosh i feel like not that they were bad or anything but it didn't give me um, I didn't know what I knew back then and I didn't know about moisture retention back then what I know now about it and locking and you know LOC method LCO method and what works best on my hair it was a lot of trial and error so much trial and error and I feel like when you are going natural or I mean going back to natural I feel like you have to allow yourself that time to learn and to fall and to fall drastically and to fail and to sometimes see the pieces of breakage and be like oh gosh what's happening or to see the hair stopping right here and be like what's happening or to see the shedding and be like oh what's happening and kind of having those pitfalls to where now you're like okay now i see why now i see why so you just have to find your groove when you're natural you got to find your groove you got to find find your resources find what works for you because there is there is help so anyways um i've been yammering i think i'm gonna move on um you guys can see how this butter shampoo is doing i mean it's just my hair feels like i'm not even i'm not even joking it feels so so soft 
it feels like what it says a heavy shampoo buttercream and it just feels like a buttercream literally buttercream um it smooths onto your hair it definitely has slip so th that with that water added it definitely aids in that slip i just again i'm not that i I have coily hair, me pu pushing my hands through like this, just gonna break it off. And I ain't nobody got time for that. But it just feels so good on my hair, y'all. And it's just, it's just nice. It just feels hydrated. Um, we're gonna see how clean my, ha my hair and my scalp are gonna feel. But yeah, it feels, it feels so good. It feels very, exactly what I would want in like a co-wash. But the good thing about it is the cleansers are in the first ingredients. So I love that. So y'all, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and I'm going to show you what my hair looks like. I'm going to finish rinsing the rest of my hair. I'm going to fill it and see if I need two washes, which I'm probably going to do two washes anyway, because it has been like five days, y'all. So I'm going to do two washes and then I'll come back and show you guys my hair afterwards. But yeah, comment down below. So um, from everything we talked about thus far, please comment down below what what do you guys think on what I was mentioning? What are your thoughts on it? Um, what Tell me about your natural hair journey. Like what are some of the things that you learned during this time and with different climates and all that? Like, let me know. Let's chat. Okay, let's chat. Let's have our first curl chat with open, using opens. My name is Ariel and I'm using Sultanical's Butter Shampoo. Next one. So yeah. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This t-shirt thing is, it's a lot. I, I I try to put it on one way, it falls off. I try to put the clip on it, the clip is tight. It's grabbing my roots, it's snatching them by the hold of the cuticle and I can't. So anyways, it's off now. Here is my hair, y'all. Okay, here is, here is my, my scalp. <laughs> I was trying to do when you get me, pick, pick me. I don't know, let's just move on. Okay, so here is my scalp, y'all. And my hair, don't mind that little guy that just decided to pop up. And let me just, let me be, let me be the first one to tell you the tea, okay? Let's get into it. First off, can we admire the empty? Can we admire the empty? Y'all, I got this baby in 2020. This was my very first Sultanicals product ever. I'm tempted I'm tempted to keep it. Look at it. The SH is doing. It's doing a sideways lean, y'all. She done been through it. I'm tempted just to like have this as like a. <sighs> you did good. You did good. But then again, I'm like. Ariel, you're already a hoarder. Fix it. You don't need to be keeping trash. You don't need to be keeping trash. A bottle now is it needs to be. It needs to go away now. It needs to go away. You already enjoyed it. Okay. Anyways, um, y'all look at my hair. It is so clean. So let's get into the tea. Let's get into the tea. It is tea time. Get your tea cup because I've got mine. Here's my thoughts. Okay. Here's my thoughts. Um, I. <sighs> Sorry. Let me show the, the clean one. I love this stuff. My scalp is clean. My hair is clean clean now listen this isn't the clean where you know how it's gonna talk back to you you know how you put your hand like this and your hair is squeaky clean so when you put your hand down like this it goes <laughs> so it's talking back no this hair doesn't talk back to you this is a this is this is some some hair that just it listens but look at it ain't got no squeak to it it won't talk back to you it won't <laughs> mm -mm. this is a moisturized hair but it's clean now y'all my as you can see my scalp my hair is so clean my hair is so clean so I washed it, I guess you could say one and a two, one, one and a two times. <laughs> what? One and a half times because I did that full wash. You guys saw, I put it on, I clipped it. I put it on, I clipped it. I put it on, I clipped it, right? Um, then I had like a little, little bit, like I had like a little bit around in here. So y'all put some water in it, shook it up because we ain't wasting, not a drip, not a driplet, not a drop, okay? So I uh, Switch it up and then I did like, I just put all the warm water on my hair with a little bit of product and then I like scrub my scalp one more time. But y'all, my hair is so, like when I say it's clean, like it's ready. It's ready for the next step. It's ready for the next step. I do feel like this gave me even a deeper clean because I let it sit. So I let it sit for probably like five minutes each quadrant. Maybe this one was like 10. So what I would recommend, if you guys want even deeper cleaning with these, 
put leave it on for a second like put it on your hair and if you do this in the shower put it on your hair and then you know um you know wash your body or or i don't know do something do something do do what you do do what you do and then rinse it off because i feel like it gave this is probably um it gave me like even a bigger clean if that makes sense because i feel like i had even more time to set in and work and lift up all that dirt versus me just putting it on and rinse it off i feel like with this butter shampoo i feel like with this butter shampoo because it's a low lather slash no lather okay slash little little microscopic suds i really feel like this is one of those that you want to put on and let it sit just so it can do what it does and it does and it does and it does okay so i really liked it this is this stuff is so good my hair feels so clean it's ready again i love that cleansers are one and two in the ingredient list this stuff is actually going to clean your hair so if you're looking for a shampoo or a co-wash that will not cleanse i mean that will not cleanse your hair lies that will clean your hair but absolutely will not strip it will not talk back to you it's quiet quiet as a mouse okay but your hair is clean your scalp is clean and you're good and you want your hair to be moisturized and butter soft and clean you want to get this butter shampoo trust me you want to get this butter shampoo i love this butter shampoo this is one of my, sorry it's like dripping down my chinny chin chin i can't have that i can't have it tickles it tickles <laughs> tickles so what I would say about this is um, pick it up. That's what I would say. I think this is one of her top sellers, I want to say. This one was the first one I ever tried that made me fall in love with her butter shampoos. Her butter shampoos are amazing. The Coco Razzle is my number one favorite. It is my number one favorite. Then Mega Greens and then this one. Okay, and then this one. But I think she has like five different ones. There's a I haven't tried her Chebe uh, butter shampoo, but... Get on Sultanical's website. Go look at her butter shampoos. Trust me, with a butter shampoo, just get it. If she ever comes out with them, like a brand new one or something, y'all just get it. Just add to cart. You will not be disappointed. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And your hair feels soft and clean. If you Again, if you're one of those people that like a squeaky clean, this won't give you a squeaky, a squeaky clean. It'll give you a moisturized clean. If you want to use this maybe as a second cleanse, if you like to use, like for example, if you're doing a clarifying shampoo and then you need to follow up with like a moisturizing one, then this is perfect for you. If you want a midweek co-wash, this is perfect for you because because uh, like my hair just feels good. My hair just feels good. It's ready. It's ready. And if you don't, no, I, don't, I, have, I have nothing else to say. It's just, it's just amazing. It's BBB. You need to get it. Add to cart. Add to cart. Add to cart. Okay. And the good thing about Sultanicals too, I want to tell you guys, she's in a lot of those um, online retailers. Um, Icon Beauty um, is one of the online retailers. She's in a lot. Of, like, go on her site and look up her uh, retailers. She has some stuff in Walmart now too. Um, but as far as like the butter shampoos and stuff, a lot of her online retailers sell those. So if they're ever sold out online on her site. If they're ever sold out on sultanicals.com go to one of her um like her uh, online retailers because they most likely will have it i looked at some of these online retailers and they have some sultanical stuff that i was like i never even heard of that what's that what's that well what's that but add to cart add to cart because she comes out with a lot of limited edition stuff so anyways y'all check out sultanicals i love it okay yeah so check them out um but y'all that's it for this review that is it for this review um tell me how do you like this whole curl chat thing how do you like this open with opens again me being open using my opens um comment some some topics down below too like what do you guys want to talk about next in the next one because y'all have a lot of opens so we're gonna have a lot of these videos okay so let me know um let me know let me know let me know some topics that you want to, to for me to discuss next time for us to have a curl chat and yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but anyways y'all i think that's it i think i'm gonna wrap up this video because it's already been long okay we're gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for joining me again and thank you guys again to every single person that was on the live with me um gosh seriously like from the bottom of my heart that whole that whole thing made my night and the fact that it was four and a half hours I could not have done that without you guys, God and you guys, like the, thank you guys that were all there and that commented, like seriously, I just, I'm on the moon, I'm on the moon, I'm on the moon, I'm on the moon, I'm on Mars, I'm on Pluto, I'm on Pluto, it's still a planet in my book, okay, don't try to mess up my education, okay, okay, anyways, 
y'all thank you guys so much for watching this video and y'all how are we gonna end it remember no matter whatever you are going through won't he do it <laughs> he said he would okay okay don't forget that okay all right y'all thank you guys so much again and see you guys next time okay bye